hey guys welcome back to my channel now as you already know christmas is right around the corner so it's only right for me to do a little christmas series or christmas special for you guys now to start that off i'm going to show you how i make my sorrel jam or sorrel sauce so let's get right into it so here i have my sorrel petals my sorrel itself and in my sorrel i have some grated ginger uh, this is how my mother store her sorrel and I actually got this from her So I have my sorrel. I have one cup of granulated sugar I have half of an orange and I'm also gonna be using half of this lime and I'm gonna be using some cinnamon sticks So to my pot, I'm gonna add two cups of water So remember we're not making sorrel juice, you know, we're making a sorrel jam so we don't need a whole pot of water. We need the water and the sorrel to either be on the same level or the water to be less than the sorrel itself because we will actually draw the sorrel and draw it to the highest concentration that we can get it at. So I added my sorrel to my two cups of water. Then I'm gonna go in with half of an orange. And the orange is completely optional remember the orange will give it a more rimy a more tangy taste if you don't like that you can leave it out then i'm going in with my cinnamon sticks i'm going to cover my pot and allow it to come to a boil so this is how it looks after about 10 minutes i did however allow it to stay on the stove at low heat for roughly an hour so just as you would if you were making your sorrel juice, you could have allowed it to stay on the stove with the heat off of course and allow it to sit and draw for a little bit longer. But for the purpose of this video, I went ahead and I strained it shortly after turning off the stove. So I've separated my cinnamon sticks, my oranges, as well as the sorrel plant itself from the liquid. And now I'm going to add this liquid back to the stove, allow it to come to a boil, and then add my one cup of granulated sugar. Now we want that to dissolve and to do so, we're just going to stir until we see that it's properly dissolved. After which I'm going to squeeze the juice from half of a lime. Now I'm going to allow this to cook for roughly 20 to 30 minutes at low heat. And of course you'd want to check this every 5 minutes thereabout. So we're looking for a syrupy consistency. Once it starts to look like that, you want to turn off your heat and allow it to cool down. Now the longer you cook it for, the thicker it will be. So you will no longer get a jelly consistency if you cook it for too long. You will get more of a candy consistency. It will be very hard. Now this is how it's looking after cooling down for roughly an hour. Now you can use this sorrel sauce as a topping, you can use it as a filling. You can eat it with your crackers, you can eat it with your bread. It's really delicious. It's not too sweet for me, but if you want to use less sugar, you can go ahead and do so. If you want to use more sugar, then that is also up to you. But as you see here, we have the perfect consistency and it also retained its bright, vibrant red color that you know your sorrel juice to have. So there you have it, your perfect sorrel sauce, your perfect sorrel jam or jelly, whichever name you'd like to call it. Now, if you happen to try this recipe, let me know how it turns out. I'm sure you would love it just as much as I do. Now, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Bye!